I'm just tired. When I, I'm tired and I've got a film crew in my face waiting for me to make a decision, it's just hard. Getting a laundry, bathroom and drying terrace put together inside a week was never going to be easy. Carl, have you been told that you've got to put a wall in there as well? No. Huh? Especially if you don't read my plans properly. Today was a dead set shocker. Drilling holes for plumbing through the slab in the wrong spot doesn't help matters either. The fact is, there's a big hole there now. Oh, and letting your trades walk all over your wet screed is always a bad idea too. This isn't acceptable for waterproofing. We have to start this again. It's a rookie error, and both sets of fans paid a big price for it. It's really disappointing. There's only three full days of work left to pull this triple challenge together. Four hours sleep. Time to throw a grenade into the mix. Oh, Scotty. Oh, no. The blockheads are going down to Grumpy Town. We're in trouble. trouble. Midway through laundry, bathroom and drying terrace week, the strain on the blockheads is starting to show. It's time to move out of bed. Son and I tag team last night. She stayed up just to finish off the waterproofing. And I'm getting up earlier to do the sanding. I've well, got a very busy day. Got the tilers coming, the underfloor heating guys, the laundry's getting put in. So that needs to be sanded before it gets chaotic in about an hour. After being up till 2 a.m., Kyle and Kara are wrecked. Big night. Got all the old screed bed up. And got the new one down. Despite Keith offering to help, they decided to forge ahead, ripping all the old screed up and sweet talking their Tyler into staying late. Very late. The man right here, he's um he's Amon. And um, he's our Tyler. And yeah, we are um, big folks coming in tonight and helping us out with our screed. But where else would he want to be? <laughs> <laughs> it was torture last night, just pulling it up, but I knew that if I got it done, we'd have a good shot at getting the new screed down last night too. It's 12 o'clock and Eamon has just finished screeding the floors. <sighs> After we've pulled up the old screed right there. And there's the new screed. Time management is key on the block. And hard yards like the ones Kyle put in last night are bound to pay off. Screed dried? No. So you can't waterproof? No. Nah. Probably the Sabo we can waterproof Kyle tomorrow. Yeah. Looks like Steve and Chantel have to pull their floor screed up as well, so. Their area is actually probably a little bit bigger than ours too, so they've got a fair bit to catch up on. Utterly exhausted, Steve and Chantel decided to pull the pin early last night and wait for a jackhammer and the help of Keith to get into it today. Kennards opens in probably half an hour. I'm going to get there on their doorstep and uh, make sure we can get that jackhammer now. Um, I don't want to wait for anyone because we need to rip in. I don't know how we're going to track in terms of finishing. I also have to do washing. I've run out of clothes. <laughs> Poor old Steve and Chantel, they, uh, yeah, they're struggling. Everything's going wrong for them at the moment, so... But we've said just hang in and turn. Good stuff will start happening. Like a text from yours truly, right? Oh, who would have thought it wouldn't be well received? Morning, Blockheads. I know how much you love an early start, so get up, dressed, and meet Shelley at HQ at 7.30. It's time for a challenge, Scotty. 7 thirds. Oh, yay. I'm still getting a coffee. Shelley can... Steve's going to have a heart attack. Sandra? Got a challenge at 7.30. 
Get up. Four hours sleep. I'm so tired. No one looks in good shape for a challenge today. And Steve can forget about getting that jackhammer. Um, yeah, I just got a text from Scotty. We're going to meet at Scotty's HQ at 7.30. Oh, Christ. We're in trouble. OK, so the timing isn't great. But the chance to add five grand to their renovating budget is not to be sneezed at. <laughs> for a lovely stuff. These kids are soft. Come on, on pal. Get out there, too, mate. That's Boy, a... We're going to have a good day. We're going to have a good day, we're going to have fun, we're going to win some money, and even if we don't, we'll have fun, OK? We're struggling, so... I'm almost starting to feel sorry for them. Almost. <laughs> This wind wouldn't be doing my man boobs any favours. <laughs> Go easy on them, Shelley. Morning, Shell. Morning, Thanks for Shell. dressing up, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> morning, ladies. Morning. morning. Hi, Carl. Chantelle Steve. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Challenge Day. It's no surprise that to be the best on the block, you need to maximise the space that you have in your apartments. 1,000 square metres of prime real estate was equally divided amongst you all, making this block the ultimate game of millimetres. Week after week, you're challenged with making the most out of every square metre, packing more in so you get the best results come auction day. So, I thought, what better way to test your renovating skills than to start with the humble square metre. Take a look down. You are standing on one square metre. The mere foundations for today's challenge. Today's challenge is to build a one square metre house. Armed with instructions, materials and tools, teams must build their houses according to the plans provided. After that, they can let their imagination run wild to create their very own portable living spaces. Just like this one I prepared earlier. Don't you just love it? But don't be fooled, this is not a pint-sized challenge because this house must be fully functioning for a full-grown adult. This is not child's play, people. You not only have to construct your house, but you also need to design and decorate your home. What? We're not that keen on challenges. It's not a secret. <laughs> <laughs> we don't hide that very no. well. <laughs> Each of these metre rulers has a different theme on the back. And Kyle and Cara, as the winners of last week's challenge, you will get to select first, and then you get to hand out the rest. Come on in. <laughs> We've won one out of one challenges, so <laughs> we've got a good track record. Oh, what? If it's got to be fully functioning, we should be allocated more, because we're bigger. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Steve and Chantel will be building a library. Brad and Dale, a hotel. Alisa and Lysandra, an office, and Kyle and Kara have chosen the Zen Pen for themselves. Teams will present their pity pads in Federation Square where they will be judged by the people of Melbourne. And it's no small fry prize, with the winning house receiving $5,000 cash cool. thanks to Suzuki. You've got just six hours to pack more in. Your time starts now. Coming up, Roman, speaking the um, Melbourne State Library. 
grand plans. Get some pillars involved and somehow incorporate stairs. And later... Far out. It's challenge day. Oh, yeah. And our eight sleepy blockheads are on the tools. Awesome. Let's get building. <laughs> Putting together a one square metre house. Yep, one square metre. OK. Building challenges are no small feat, particularly for those with no particular carpentry skills. How confident do you feel about building this? Yeah, that's all right. Good. It's pre-cut. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> Day. At least I screw the two vertical pieces of the window end of the vertical pieces, ensuring that all horizontals are on the side of the verticals. They're taking the piss right. But everyone seems to have their own issues. From size... I think Carl and Carter are a bit of an advantage. She's quite tiny, so she could probably put a second level and yeah. have it quite functional on both levels. To not feeling all that zen. Stuff the tradies. I'll do it all myself today. <laughs> <laughs> we hate challenges. And then... oh, we do, we hate challenges, especially building challenges. <laughs> Seriously, it can't be that hard. Hmm, maybe I can help get the twins' office off the ground. So, I'm getting the impression you're allergic to building. <laughs> Is that how you're feeling all right? Yeah, not too bad. Struggling a bit, but that's all right. Stuffly? Yeah. This isn't too hard to follow, though, is it? Well... I can't find any 1,400 pieces. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it's 1,400. Give me a metre rule. I'll go around and find you one. Let's just get that kids' wallpaper. I'd just like to point out that I'm not an expert either. See, that one's a 1,400, which are here, but then I need that piece, which I guess would be like 1,200. 1,200. Oh, I'm an idiot. I just got to move it over. Duh. <laughs> OK, so I think the girls are on track. Brad and Dale have wasted no time bashing together the frame for their mini hotel. It's all over the shop here, though. I don't think it's going to matter. Do you need a lip on the top to meet the other side? I reckon one. Either might. that or come over the top of it, I don't know. Yeah, like I said, then the other one maybe comes over. Put a trim along the top or something. Don't care. Nice, nice. <laughs> Good finishing. <laughs> Come on, Dale. Get into challenge day. <laughs> Where's your spirit, my friend? No, I'm, I've got spirit, mate. I'm just... Don't rats, you love the days hanging out with me? Brad would be puttying all these holes <laughs> up and, and giving them a sand off and, you know, we're on a challenge day. Yeah, gotta... Shelley, you set the challenges and I just like to try and impress you. Thank you very much, Brad. Chippy Kyle chose Zen Pen for him and Kara, but he ain't feeling it. Brad and Dale seem to be going pretty good. They got, um... Two people who can use tools. Zen, guys. Zen. I just got a bit short-tempered, really. Happens to people when they're under the pump and been up till, you know, all hours and, you know, things aren't going right. Do you want to do it? I know it's frustrating for you, but, like, I actually want to have a go. Let me do it. You need to let me do something. Well, I want you to look for what we're going to actually put in it. Like, if you can find something which resembles what we're trying to make here. I'm never going to get any better. Maybe we'll need to wait till it's built for the Zen to work. Steve and Chantel have landed a library. My skills are fair to middling when it comes to some of this woodworking stuff. Oh, no. <sighs> it's spun out on me. <laughs> How many drill bits did you break? I broke a succession of drill bits. Each drill bit more harder to break than the last, but I did break them all. God damn it. Steve and Chantel, how are they going? <laughs> Such a bitch. Um, so I'm not a big fan of these now. 
Wrong bit. <laughs> oh, is that what it was? Yeah, Rick used the wrong bit on it. Steve and Chantel look like they were struggling a little bit today. They... <laughs> <laughs> Steve and Chantel. <laughs> right, let me say it, ready. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> it's not funny, I'm not laughing at them, I'm just laughing because we. Okay, ready? <clears throat> Lisa and Lysandra have given up on their instructions, deciding imitation is a form of flattery. From the word go, the twins were watching us. Every time we put a bit of timber there, they'd move theirs. How are you going? <laughs> I'm just coughing. I hope you don't mind. I'm just like, what's he doing next? I can't read those instructions. If I didn't have Kyle, I'd be doing the exact same thing. <laughs> Easy as. Good to hear, Steve, because I think Chantel has some big ideas. Roman, picking the um, Melbourne State Library. So, uh, paint her up cementy, get some pillars involved, and somehow incorporate stairs. Depending on whether the walls can hold the weight, maybe stairs leading to another seating area if we put it on its side, because um, there's the sculpture outside the State Library, it's the sinking library. So maybe we can actually replicate that. So we've got Roman pillars, stairs to a raised mezzanine, a sculpture out the front, and a sunken floor level. Should be interesting. While Steve is working out his bits, back at the block, old mate Keith has come to Steve and Chantel's rescue. Yesterday, Chantel and Steve, and Kyle and Kara had a disaster with their screed beds. So Keith offered to help both teams. Brilliant. Kyle and Kara are under control. I've got a blood blister. I've got a blood blister. You need to take that ring off. Yeah. Yeah. Then all the chicks are trying to pick me up. So Keith has come to help Steve and Chantel. We've got these expert screeders going to come in and they're simply going to patch it up. They're going to put a few agents in the mix and speed up the drying process. So hopefully we can waterproof tonight. Rookie mistake, they'll learn from it, but I just hope they don't do this for their waterproofing because if the membrane gets pierced, all this work is basically for nothing. Steve and Chantel definitely only one after this week. Without me, they wouldn't have a room in three days' time. Where would we be without Keith, eh? Back at Scotty's HQ, Brad and Dale, pros on the tools, have raced through their build so they can spend more time decorating their hotel. Now that the square metre room is standing, it's actually quite roomy, isn't it? Instead of a and b I think we're going to go with the B&D. So, um, Brad and Dale, and it's a hotel boutique, boutique hotel, very boutique. We could have a little reception, they sit here, fold up desk cover. Welcome to the awesome hotel we're building. Down, dead. Brad came up with a decent idea of maybe being able to tilt the whole thing so you can turn it down to sleep. It'd be cool if we got an actual single mattress somewhere and ripped it. 335. But we could just get foam and then just cover it. Or we could get a mattress, rip it, and put the end down. Yeah, but a single mattress would be wider than that, wouldn't it? Yeah. If we could get a mattress, rip it, put the end down. But there'd be two ends because they'd have to rip it down and across. We could get an air mattress, put it in, put the pump in, blow it up. We'll get some foam and cover it, I think. The easiest and best way to do it. <laughs> what we'll actually do is probably just drive around the streets and find the hard rubbish tip off and see if we can find a like old secondhand stained up mattress. We'll whack that in there. Every good hotel's got one of those. Uh, a really ugly bedspread, because most hotels have really ugly bedspreads. A bedside table with a Bible. Mm -hmm. um, Very small fridge with mini treats worth $18 each. Yeah. Kyle and Kara have got their Zen pen built, 
and Kyle's karma is already looking better. We're having a moment in our Zen pen. I'm just gonna stand up in the corner and go to sleep. <laughs> then we had the idea to flip the box. We're gonna maybe build a little mezzanine bed and then build it up here so that you can stand up. At the moment, I'm just thinking about finishes, how we're gonna finish it. <laughs> looking good. Inside the twins' office, it's all about practical decor. So it needs a desk, a chair. We have a corner desk down here, here, and here. We need to make shelves and stuff up here for books. Wow, carpentry skills have come in handy right now. Speaking of building skills, I wonder how the State Library is getting on. That's the inside of the State Library. So I'm just thinking if we can somehow do a crap version of that, that'd be great. I don't think that our ideas are too grand. Do you I, do? I, I don't think our ideas are too grand uh, overall. I think it, for the moment, when we're just trying to catch ourselves up to speed with um, what we've got to do, might need to kind of simplify it. A... Coming up? Rick, you are in so much trouble. Friendship's lost. I'm on a challenge. Who just parts? Who just leaves their car there? And friendship's found. <laughs> There's a bit over three hours to go in my one square metre house challenge. Time for my ten. Want to help me win a challenge? Chantelle needs timber to make dramatic entranceway pillars for her one square metre library. Rick, can you please help me? I need something that looks like pillars, right? I need pillars, like the State Library has pillars. I can put, you know, lots of round balsa together, yeah. but it might be a little bit crap. I have to build a room that um, encompasses Zen. Zen. It's called the okay. Zen pen. So something cool. Something, yeah. And relaxing. If we go for a moulding of some sort, like... <laughs> yeah, right. It gives you the pattern at the front. It does. That's awesome. So Rick from Mitre 10 has just suggested that maybe I use some skirting boards as my pillars. I love it. You're amazing. I'm just going to make a quick call. Go for it. Because you can cut them up, can't you? Yep. Yes. And I'll just quickly go and serve another customer. Sure. Give me five, Thank right? you. Don't take your eyes off Rick, Chantel, because the competition has arrived. And she's battered her eyelids at him. <laughs> All right, what do we want? 1400 by May, 18 now, yeah? Yeah. yeah. While the girls are down at the hardware store getting timber, Dale is on a decorating mission for a very small, very boutique hotel. Small is definitely the productive word here, so if we can find something small that can be screwed on, then I think we'll be a winner. The joy of it's the hunt, so hopefully I can find something in here. How big were those frames? 40 mil, weren't they? too deep, I think. It'd still be sticking out. Mm. Nothing says boutique like a goat head. Well, maybe we could hang our pendant off it. Will Dale go the goat? Mm. Rick! Oh, dear. I'm afraid Rick has gone to help another damsel in distress. Do you know where Rick's gone? He has to be near the trade counter. Oh, did Rick ask you to cut some no, skill? Looks like gentlemen do prefer blondes. You're getting skirting cut too? Yeah. Cool. I thought he was cutting the wrong one. Yeah. Hmm, that's a little awkward. Rick's gone missing. He's in so much trouble. So much trouble. While our fans run around like headless chooks, watch how our vets do it. Elisa's pre-ordered supplies. Lysandra picks them up and she's out of here. Or maybe not. Oh my God, just parked it there. It seems no matter how prepared you are, there's always something that can hold you up. People serious? Places to be, people. Got two hours and 30 minutes ish. So if I can just get a chair on the way back, that's all we're gonna need. And some books. The library. 
probably important. Don't know where the time goes. So, there's a few issues with the girls at Mitre 10. Let's see how the guys back at Scotty's workshop are going. Step right up for the... Roll up, roll, roll up. up. Bloody newbies putting on my bloody thing. Who do they think they are? Just let the oh. good times flow. At the moment, I'm trying a lot of things for the first time, or at least it's been 10 odd years be between drinks when it comes to some of the tools I'm using. Almost me. I haven't used a jigsaw since high school. I haven't used a, um, like a drop saw and whatnot for at least 10 years. Ah, the old haven't touched a drop saw in 10 years excuse. Well, Sandra went out shopping for once and I stayed back on the tools and I, I didn't stop all day. I'm actually really wrecked. But it was really fun being on the tools. Oh, what was that? I felt like a tradie. What did you just say? I was hanging out with the guys. I had such an easy day shopping. Oh, I'm like... Who just does that? Who does that? Back inside Mitre 10, Kara has now the entire serving staff in the palm of her hand. Can the other fella do the plywood? Someone was saying that someone else had to cut the plywood. Yeah. 20 mil plywood. Oh, that's fine. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I feel like I'm wasting time. There's not really anything I can do. I'm on a challenge. Who just parts? Who just leaves their car there? Like, are you freaking serious? I might actually move it myself. Please don't do that. Is this her? No, she's not a work cute kind of gal. Back on the decorating trail, Dale is now thinking soft furnishings. Oh, well, I wouldn't be buying carpet from Carpet Court this week because I've bought the lot. I'm not sure if they deal with orders this large quantity-wise, so um, I'm after a whole square metre by, by nothing. I've got a couple of yeah. really, really rank old offcuts. What do they look like? I better have I'll a squeeze. Just, I'll give you a bit of a look. Yeah, sometimes rank can be brilliant. Yeah. The carpet itself was one that wasn't the most normal looking carpet. It was uh, definitely had to have been for some sort of boutique hotel, I reckon. If that's not boutique hotel, I don't know what is. <laughs> it was really convenient that it was two metres long by 900 wide, considering our room was a metre by a metre. We'll have to come over for a visit. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Plenty of room for guests. Uh-oh. He looks like a work ute driver. Is that your car? There's <laughs> <laughs> no room in here. These other cars can go. Oh. I wouldn't just park in the driveway. Don't talk, just do what she says. You do not mess with the twins on a challenge. Who does that? <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> um. Nothing. Nothing. No damage. Back inside, Chantelle has resorted to asking other customers for help. Do you know where I'd be able to pick up a bag of sand? Yeah. And there goes Rick with Cara. How are you? Thank you. No worries. See you later. Thanks, Rick. Cara's come and gone. It's all right. Rick, you are in so much trouble. Where are my skirting boards? Yeah, we're just cutting one now. Oh, we're you're so gonna, naughty. But everybody's going to lunch and try. What do you reckon? Because they're not my ones. Can I help you carry some down? Yeah. I'm just going to get bones to <laughs> cut the plywood. All right, I understand. Yeah, You've been making me secondhand, I understand. No, no I, it's loud and clear, Rick. Relationship severed. It hurts. Cut steep. Coming up, what goes up? 
and later. Take a card off us, stick it in the corresponding box in front, and whoever gets the most votes wins the challenge. As we always say, there can be only one winner. And the team taking home the $5,000 thanks to Suzuki is... have two more hours to build a one square metre house. The house judged the best by the public in Federation Square will earn its makers five grand cash. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. <sighs> Finally, Chantelle has her timber and is on her way back to Scotty's workshop. With the houses well underway, punctual as ever Scotty Come on in. has rocked up late to make sure everyone's behaving themselves. Your minions are hard at work. <laughs> Kids, look at them. <laughs> look at them, having a ball. Scotty. First up, Scotty pops his head into the twins' office. Am I blending in with your paint job? Can you see just my head? Look at that, that's outstanding. Scotty. Well done. Stop. I'm on your team. Shane, your joins are really good. We're not under any illusion that we even stand a chance. <laughs> this is like way out of our depth. You know, it's just one of those building challenges where we just got to get through it. I didn't choose that blue. It was I asked for navy blue, but when you order paint over the phone, you know you get what you're given. You know what they say about guys, they're colourblind, so maybe that's true, because that was not navy blue. The one square metre house. Yes, I think they got the toughest. Not just a hotel room, a hotel. <laughs> a hotel, yeah, right. We're thinking about having the bed up on this wall that you're leaning against all the way, and then because we're, yeah. Lay it over. Lay it over. Hotel, boutique, boutique, hotel, very boutique. The colour we decided to paint the office today probably is probably a fairly good choice today. Looks so bad. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. We've got the case of the blues. <laughs> the office blues. Over at Kyle and Cara's Zen Pen, Kyle has achieved Nirvana. Oh. Hello, hello. Hello. Where's Kyle? Um. Well, he's been really busy. He's yeah. been doing a great job, hasn't he? Yeah. Where he is, um, oh, I've bad. got no idea. <laughs> you little brat, come and help me. I've been working hard. Uh, he's been sleeping. I had to test the bed out. Well, I don't think she saw the funny side to that. I thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was funny. An hour till tools down, and the gang's all coming back together again. Hi, love. How are you? Good. Good. Nice. Does it fit? Does it fit? Woohoo! Just, yeah. How good's that? What colour is that? I don't know. <laughs> Stone. Stone? Oh, yeah, don't be painting the house with that. That's hideous. Right, now the fun part, dressing up. <laughs> Thank God our rims don't look like this, hey? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit embarrassed about this attempt today, to be honest. Doing a crap job is better than not getting it done. That's... <laughs> Time is never my friend. <laughs> Finally, the library has some books. In the Zen Pen, Kara has achieved a state of perfect calm. I think once we get a couple of pillows and throws in here, it's going to feel very zen. In the twins' office, <laughs> there's not a lot of work getting done. Uh, Brad, that looks better than your room you that you delivered. <laughs> As for our boutique hotel, with 45 minutes to go, 
Brad is in serious need of some fixtures and fittings. You've got to have your amenities, mate. Can't have a hotel room without, you know, essentials. Shower, toilet, bed, all got to be in there. Hi, mate. How you going? Hey, what time do we finish? Uh, in 45 minutes. <laughs> I'm on my way back. Uh, probably 15. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I got a Danny suit. Alright. Alright, mate. See you, mate. Catch ya. It's dead set worse than working with Lara. the last half hour of my mini building challenge, the tired twins are forced to get creative. Post-it notes are actually my idea. We were talking about putting them on... Well, the I was going to put them in the side and then Alyssa's like, let's stick them outside and then we thought, <coughs> well, then she thought, you know, they would make good tiles. tiles. Are we going to do them row by row, like colour by colour? No. They actually look really quite effective. Yeah, good idea. It's a good idea, isn't it? Uh, I reckon you've done really good with the colour. You know how I said I hated it before? Yeah. I don't hate it anymore. <laughs> you don't hear Kyle change his mind like that very often. So I'll take that as a win. 15 minutes! 15 Kyle. minutes left on this challenge! <laughs> Far out. If Kyle and Kara's Zen Pen is a last minute love fest, that's nothing compared to Brad and Dale's boutique hotel. Dale got back and uh, dumped all the uh, items out. Oh, he's Buddy. back. He had about four million things. I think we used four. I armed a nard for about two seconds over colour and went straight with the most lime green looking thing that I could find, which I think was like prey mantis. Something that. Something or other. So. If you're going to have a hotel in a row of hotels, you've got to stand out, don't you? Why lime green? Well, we stayed at uh, a joint not too long ago called The Vibe, and it was bright lime, and I thought it was a pretty cool vibe in there, so I thought our hotel would want to be on par with that at least. Fair enough, fair enough. Nothing screams, pick me, pick me, because I'm a classy hotel like Lime Green. Well, I'm going to try and get some books then. Go on, run. This has to be functional. That was very much the brief. A functional library without books is stupid. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just encourage you. Is that enough, Elisa? So I don't really have a lot more. My legs starting to sh I think these screws are too long. How can they be too long? Because I... Can you get me a small one? Can I get you the small ones? Are you serious? Can you hand me a small one? Oh, All right. That's... Ooh. Who's holding that, Scotty? Now. It was pretty frantic the last sort of 15 minutes, but we seem to have got it. I think we got everything we wanted to get in there. I painted a whole house in about nine minutes. Chantelle started the challenge with grand plans to create the State Library. She spent most of the day at the shops... I'm going to say the whole shop, put it in a bag and I'll see what fit. ..but forgot to get, well, pretty much everything. Got a carpet! Woo! Yeah, this is my favourite part, watching all the dressings come together. Makes the room, especially with a bit of green tea incense. For that extra zen feel. This was the last few seconds we would lose because Cara can't light a lighter. <laughs> really <laughs> slappy life. I would have liked more time for the attention to detail and to see my paint job. I even use my finger to paint like small gaps as well. Looks 
good, doesn't it? You wash yourself in the rain, don't get your hair wet. Lovely. Fireworks. It was like a totally real library. Kind of just have to accept it now for what it is and step back and say, oh, that's a library, apparently. What do you mean, apparently? You're very negative. I think it looks good. I just get disheartened because it takes me a while to get cracking. I haven't used a, um, that's going to be, I haven't used Steve. G'day, Scotty. <laughs> what is this? I pimped your ride. <laughs> oh. What do you think of the cam van? I love the cam van. <laughs> totally inconspicuous. <laughs> you and I go and cruise. Yeah, so we need to put one of these in and get to Fed Square, is that Absolutely. right? Absolutely, the time is up, tools down. The cam van is the perfect van, let's do it. Cut on. Coming up, it's over to the people of Melbourne to decide on our winner. Our four teams have spent the day making itty bitty teeny weeny buildings in my one square metre house challenge. After starting the day with the grumps, Sorry, I did it here. Kyle and Kara have cleansed their energy making a Zen pen. Twins, Alisa and Lysandra, have had a hard day in the office. <laughs> Seriously, it can't be that hard. But have come up with a cool, compact workspace. Brad and Dale planned a boutique hotel, bashed it together last minute, and I think they might have just got away with it. And you may feel like saying Chantel and Steve don't have many handy skills. Oh, no. But you can't, because there's no talking allowed in their library. There is a chance that because we are from Melbourne, that maybe the Melbourne public will be as crazy as us and like what we did better than others. Who knows? It's up to the Australian public and I don't know what they want. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to put one of these in and get to Fed Square, is that Absolutely. right? Absolutely. The caravan is the perfect van, let's do it. Looks at home right here in the in the hood, in the square, so. Vibrantly coloured, just like a lot of other things around here. Oh. I've already had a bloke offer me 50 bucks for the night in rent to stay in it, so all things are looking good. Go, mate. Brad. Yep. Yep. Just in case someone gets a bit keen and drops one in there, got the old bucket of safety. We need a power source. Definitely standing there. Huh? Good work on the tools. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Thanks, Shell. Yeah. It's functional, it's an office. Yeah, exactly. It's not kitsch, it's, got Tim it's not kitty. It's got Tim Tams. Minus Happy one. Tams. I couldn't help it. I know. OK, Blockheads, thank you very much. You can head back. We'll see you at HQ for the verdict after the public have done their judging. Adios. Ladies and gentlemen, how do you do? My name is Scott Cam, Shelley Craft over here from the block. We are doing a challenge down here at Fed Square and we need you to be a part of it if you could, please. Pick out the one you like, take a card off us, stick it in the corresponding box in front, and then whoever gets the most votes wins the challenge, which is five grand for our contestants. You actually get absolutely nothing but the privilege of being on the telly. Come and take a card off me and Shell. Have a look. Choose your favourites. We came into this challenge really 
like on a downer. We just weren't feeling the flow at all. We just couldn't get into the game and yeah, to actually finish is pretty cool that we finished and I feel confident with our end product. Right, study area. Yeah. <laughs> Come on out. Going out shopping a lot nowadays, I've started to develop very expensive tastes. So five thousand dollars would probably just um, help my new shopping addiction. Buy, and, uh, buy some bed linen. And, and probably blow the lot on bed linen, I'd imagine. Sit on it. <laughs> I'll go for it. It works. It works. She's pretty happy. The votes are in. Time to head back to Scotty's workshop for the results. Control. Welcome back to HQ. I think you all did an outstanding job with your one square metre houses, considering what's going on back at the block and the fact that you're all very, very tired. Your houses were a huge success with the general public down at Federation Square. And I just want to remind you that they are all potential buyers <laughs> of your apartment. <laughs> yes, they are. And today's challenge was all about giving them a little taste of what you guys can do. <laughs> we got hundreds of votes. But... As we always say, there can be only one winner. And the team taking home the $5,000 thanks to Suzuki is... <laughs> team Super K. Congratulations. Well done. <laughs> You all did very well with your one square metre. Now it's time to finish off the thousand square metres back at the block. Good luck. See ya. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Oh, done. Done. Thanks. Thanks. And, uh, I'm getting a little bit sick of this. <laughs> Second win for the Kays. Pretty stoked. I've got to say, I'm sick of Carl and Cara winning. Yeah. I want Dale and Brad to win, or you and me. It's, you know, there seems to be two key players in this. I thought that was our worst yeah. challenge that we've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> Mum would be so proud. <laughs> Buddy Dim Sim and a little scallop there. It's a potato cake. It's a scallop, mate. It's a potato cake. It's a potato scallop. A scallop? What do you call a scallop then? The actual scallop, the thing from the sea. A scallop. Oh, well, you can't have two scallops, scallop. mate. No. What do you call? What do you call that you yeah. you have handles on your birthday? Birthday cake. Well, you can't have two cakes, mate. What do you mean? We have a potato, you say potato cake, birthday cake. We say, we no. say potato scallop, scallop. What do you mean? Cakes are cakes. All cakes can be cakes. There's not, there's nothing linking potato to a bloody scallop. There's nothing linking this no. to a cake. What are you talking about? Because you call it a potato cake. Oh, God. You're delusional. Mate, you Victorians have just got no idea. Tomorrow night, Dale's wood might be bigger, but it's going to be ugly. Everyone has size issues. I feel sorry for Brad. Yeah, he's got to mount it later. And on the block... Whoa, that's pretty big. It's not just what you do with it that matters. I reckon it might be too big. It's too big. It's too big. Size is really important too. Oh, the guys have made the glass too big. <laughs>